Apparently, I'm just not hungry. AKA, he a bitch. Now, on to the main point. <laughs> I think I opened up the wrong damn thing on here. Or so do I? you want me to try to use my survival skills to see if I can get the meat off the walls? Yeah, sure, sure. Alright, first roll of the night. <laughs> Using my knife, I'm going to use my survival skills to see if I can get some good pieces of meat off the wolf. Alright, do you have any tools to harvest the meat? I have my daggers. Alright, that'll probably work. So, here's to hoping it's a good roll. Oh, no, it is not. <laughs> this is not looking good already. Ooh, hey, that's a great way to start today. I love that. <laughs> so, uh, you immediately mangle a little bit of the meat. Because it's a pretty fucking low roll there. It's not a crit fail. But when you're <laughs> handling God. meat, it doesn't need to be. It's pretty... It's not too hard to fuck up meat. One wrong stab and you've punctured the liver and ruined a good portion of it. Yep. But thankfully, uh, I don't think I would be stupid enough to go starting off around the liver. I think I'd start around the leg. Well, how high is your intelligence again? Let's look. <laughs> My intelligence is average. <laughs> it's, it actually it is. is. It's the same ten level ten. as Chloe's. Yeah, no, it's a solid 10. What are you doing here? Alright. Am I the smartest one? Am I ha yeah, you are straight <laughs> up the smartest one. Except, and this is the sad part, Katharis had a higher intelligence score than your character. Mm. She's like, mmm. <laughs> like, oh. You're not the same one, man, anymore. Katharis isn't with us anymore. He isn't. God rest his bitch ass soul. <laughs> Gosh, darn. Wherever he is and whatever he's doing now. Oh, I'm just over here doing Catharis things. Okay, Tristan. I saw I saw myself in the mirror once. Frightened myself. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so anyone else wanna try survival to uh get some meat off this wolf? I kinda got some strings here. <laughs> yeah, I survival? don't trust myself. Yeah. yeah. We're not trusting me to do it. Oh, I only have a plus one. I mean, we could shoot for him. Holy shit, I didn't know this was an extension. I mean, obviously you gotta get a better oh. roll. <laughs> it's, it's better than what I did. I'm, well, I'm, I'm not doing anything because I know I have a negative oh, one. All right, well, but... <laughs> That's cool. I did not know D&D &D Beyond had an extension for fucking... Twitch. I'll try it on one of the other wolves. Nope. <laughs> wow, we can't roll worse shit today. I'm not touching this today because this is a too early. I think you need to try it because you have better luck than us. Rolling. No. Yeah, and plus, if you crit fail, it doesn't matter. You get to reroll once. This is true. But, but I have a negative one. Do you crit fail? It wouldn't be the first. Could it be that time much worse than they just did? <laughs> I mean, physically, could it be that much worse? Super roll is zero. That's pretty much still not that much worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, not a great attempt. You are able to carve a nice little chunk out of the wolf. Granted, there's still some hair on one end. I don't think the mimic will care. Yeah. Well, it's Top not it up for the mimic. It's for, it's for Chloe. Yeah, she did that one. You didn't get that one. Well, then why are we doing it for her? Why don't you try it? Because <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'd be nice. I mean, unless you want her to starve to death. Yeah, you want to make the only healer in this one. I will definitely start hitting her with those fatigue levels. Yeah, that no. doesn't do it. No. I'm going to attempt again at the wolf that I tried. Alrighty. Your wolf still has some manageable pieces, so... 13? Alright, you're, you're able to carve off uh, like a leg or something and cut, out, cut it off. Got a haunch. Ah, I, got, I got some meat. 
Me oh, too. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I finally I tried on the one that I was doing. Uh, you see Divi just so suddenly uh holy grab shit grab your knife, push you over, and like just skin a whole section of the wolf, just bam. <laughs> Question, does anybody know how to cook? In my future life, I'm Chef Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? If people can use past lives, why can't I use future? <laughs> A great angry chef. Uh, I still disagree with how he says to cook scrambled eggs. Oh, those, that's because you eat diner style. Which is garbage! <laughs> I mean, it, it just doesn't look appetizing the way he cooks the scrambled eggs. I mean, eggs just don't look appetizing. Eggs always look appetizing, as long as you're not scrambled, Chef Gordon. No. Wait. They look like brains. And if you think I'm wrong, I will cook some brains in front of you with the eggs and see if you can <laughs> tell the difference. I will let you choose on a blind taste test. Well, oh, you will be able God. to taste the difference, but you won't be able to see the difference. I guarantee it. <laughs> oh dear! Please, it's not. That's right. Oh, yeah. We uh, we got some meat for Chloe now, and all she has to do is cook it. She has to yep. cook it. We'll say that's uh, two days, worth. and then she herself got herself maybe a half day's worth of meat. And then whatever I don't know what uh I don't know what Diffy if Diffy's given her her meat or if that was for the mimic but Diffy's got a couple days worth of meat. <laughs> oh, Diffy's sorry. got the meat. I do got the meat. I, I think the smartest thing to do though would be to cut off as much meat as we can and then like cook it, kind of like jerky it a bit. If you're gonna so jerky it, you got to uh you gotta dry it. <laughs> Oh, I got another it. one. You could smoke Jesus it. Jesus Christ! Oh, damn. She, uh... Unfortunately, that's just the rest of her wolf, because you have already mangled up the other wolf. Well, there was multiples. Well, you fed two to the mimic already. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, so I, I completely used up all of the wolf for every good little piece it had. <laughs> there you go. That's great. What's that? No, it's like, it's I'm 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 going to attempt to carve the rest of my wolf. Alrighty. Fifteen. Alrighty, you, you are able to pull off the last uh, little piece of the wolf you had not already fucked up, <laughs> along with Chloe and Diddy, because you don't fuck that first wolf up with all those fuck ups. So now yeah, you probably yeah, got like. Yeah, you got a couple legs and then the chunk that Chloe took out, and then you got the half, probably a good full wolf actually, full right. full wolf body that Diffy's got. I'm gonna split the halves that I got since I got like some good parts. Alrighty. Give half of it to the little halfling, and then I'm gonna save the other half for the mimic. Alright. See now that is gonna be a strength check. To split it, it's already cut. I just have to hand it to them. Yeah, you gotta split it. You gotta cut it in half. But you skinned it. Part of already cutting it. <laughs> no, skinning it Aren't isn't part of skin? cutting it. No, I, I. Was it just to skin? Wasn't it oh to yeah. Carve it up into bits and stuff. Oh jeez, no. That takes hours, y'all. Shit, skinning takes a little while itself. Yes, ma'am. But I guess we. All right, we'll do another roll for the hour-long pulling off of the meat. This is gonna take the rest of the day, by the way. Oh god. That's, that's fine. That's fine. To be fair. Just... Time to prepare, time to chat. Time, time to... to get a random attack roll. Oh Woo! shit, no! And I rolled high! <laughs> oh no! Luckily for you, it actually yeah. wasn't time for a random attack roll, but uh, it could have been. I could have decided. Ooh. I cannot chop that shit in half. That just takes long. That's all. You've already rolled to get a good chop. This is just how long it's taken, so. Okay. Being that you are not the most experienced and you don't have a full skinners and choppers kit, you just have a knife, it's gonna take you, let's say, uh, two and a half more hours, which will pretty much finish off your day. Okay. And voila, 
After hours of chopping, you have acquired wolf meat. High quality, low value wolf meat. Might taste a little gamey. It's definitely going to taste chewy. I'm a werewolf in you, so. Well, <laughs> wolf meat. <laughs> chewy is fine, gamey is bad. Because uh, yeah. usually if it's chewy, it means it's tender. Uh, that's not chewy. That's uh. There's a difference between chewy and eatable. I mean, wolf meat is edible. It's definitely edible. That doesn't make it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it tastes better than rabbit or squirrel. No. <laughs> no, wolf meat's a predator, dude. Predators taste awful. Have you never eaten one? Rabbit tastes good. Nope. What are you talking about? Rabbit's not a predator. I know, I'm telling him. That's what I'm saying. He's <laughs> like, he's like, rabbit is like, well, what do you mean? Those are some of the best tasting animals. If you don't like those, you're going to not like the list going downward from that. <laughs> <laughs> all those things eat are nuts, which are basically all fat and salt and sugar. Mm. Which is why they're absolutely delicious. Because <laughs> they're chunky. Unless you cook them like shit, then they end up chewy. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a whole other subject. As I was say, I don't think chewy is usually considered a good cooking verb. Wait, alligator's pretty good. Also, was is not chewy if cooked right. Mm -hmm. Although uh, that one's more like chicken, I would say. I've had alligator, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. and I, eh, I think I have to have it in more styles because usually they just serve it deep fried. Yeah, that is. I don't think that's a good. I don't think that's a good way to judge a. Uh... Well, everything. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm saying you're tasting the deep fried. I'm not sure the alligator is actually maybe any good. Could absolutely be good, or it could be garbage. We wouldn't know because all we can taste is the fried goodness. Very much truth. I'll give you. So. That. Uh... Does anybody want to start a fire so we can cook this meat so it doesn't go bad? Well, I just spent like two and a half hours cutting it. <laughs> she absolutely did. Oh, well, you two can I mean, decide while I take my nap. <laughs> I, I don't have the materials to start a fire. And she kind of, and Chloe kind of pulls out a tinderbox. She's just like, uh, are you looking for this? I mean, yeah, you can go ahead and start a fire. I mean, it is you who needs to eat. Yeah. Gives the half the meat. I just like, want a reminder of that. It's like, they're doing you a favor here. They don't at all have to or give a shit about, yeah, <laughs> about making sure you done eat. Way more than needed. <laughs> Which is going to be the question of the hour of, wait, why is no one it, does it really matter if nobody else is eating? You still have to eat, and it's your responsibility to feed yourself. <laughs> And then I, like, I don't get it's like they're not eating cool. That doesn't mean you still don't have to eat. I know, but it's just still the look of wait, why? I mean, we've actually gone over it like several times. I think your character asked a long time ago, too. Valios looks towards the forest. I would offer to go get wood for the fire, but uh, trees. Okay, you know what? How about this? And she kind of hands a tinderbox, and she's just like, I'll go get the wood. Then. Okay, sounds good. Have fun getting wood. <laughs> okay, thanks, thanks, that. That's be wonderful. That's right, I need to open up the other one of these, which didn't end up opening the way it was supposed to. Okay, you know what? Okay, let me just go do that. Let me go do that lovely idea. Okay, what would I roll? Uh, I believe that would be Still nature? Either nature or survival. I'll take my chance for nature. Thank goodness, because uh, I'm going with that. That's definitely going with the nature. Straight in the roll. Uh, Mackerel? That should be pretty good. You find yourself some decent sticks to start a fire. 
little bit of kindling. An undead body of the other realm? <laughs> oh gosh. No, it's yeah, okay. so yeah, yeah. She comes back with the small kindling she gets, and she's just like, I found those. Hello? <laughs> Hello! Yeah, so she kind of hands it off to the Elios, and she's just like, well, you can get the uh, fire started um, with the tinderbox box I'll like, see if I can get some more wood. This should start like a little small fire, probably. Maybe. Okay, if you trust me to start a fire. We didn't start the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all know what happened last time I started the fire. So, I don't think no, you do. No, no, there's a difference. There's I don't think you know what happened last time. <laughs> I mean, I don't. <laughs> You've heard secondhand. <laughs> it's like, they definitely told you. They weren't shy about it. They're just like, you so, burned uh, down everything, you piece of shit. Yeah, I guess I'm going to uh, pile the wood in a, in a, like a little circle, I guess, to start a campfire. Do I need to roll something for that, like a survival? start the fire so i mean don't... to actually start the fire yes to prepare the stuff to start the fire no i mean that kind of stuff will i guess help you no, but it also with like your role assume that anything that requires any amount of skill requires a roll unless All you're right. ready to take a 10 on it and hope i'm going to uh uh, also has a start the fire. Which, do remember that a 10 is considered average. So for anything that's considered an average task, such as tying your shoes or lighting a fire, maybe. Maybe not lighting a fire. Lighting a fire back then was actually which, still pretty difficult, but... Which one yeah. do you need to light a fire? Is that also survival? Either that or nature. I mean, given the fact he does have a tinderbox, he actually has a proper tool for it. A uh, tinderbox doesn't actually help you light a fire in nature. I hope you know that. It, it just it just has the tool to to cause a spark. Yeah, which you need to use with other tools in order to start a fire. Just to let you know, for those okay. uninitiated in actually making fire in real life. I mean, I mean, I always have a lighter on me, so. Well, you know, <laughs> unless D and D has a lighter, which totally possible to be made by gnomes. Lighters were invented before matches. Yeah, so that's definitely. But they were still not invented till the 1800s. Uh, small. All right, so uh, I'm I'm doing my my survival to see how the fire lighting goes. <clears throat> it's going to go bad. I don't know, it went well. <laughs> it went too well! <laughs> no, but you're able to use those materials and get a nice little fire going for the night, which is good because dark is starting to settle. Definitely just looking and just is like, yeah, this is how you burn down the warehouse. But with a lot bigger stuff. I have no idea what you're talking about. Which is actually true. Yeah, I know, but it's just like, it's just yeah. still startling okay. that you don't remember any of that. And that was a full on warehouse. Not just one. It wasn't you could always small, check and see if he's lying. I think I already did that, and she's come to the conclusion that it, it comes, believes that it was totally. Something like, probably, yeah. I also think you did, but I think actually what has happened is you didn't roll very well. I couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, I didn't roll very I think well, that is what happened. I'm just gonna start pulling that fucking shaggy song. It wasn't me. I swear but to gosh, I will throw something at you. Take it. I will throw something at you. I will personally throw something at you as the PC. <laughs> Um, but yeah, 
no, she's just like, okay, but yeah, no, this is exactly how this went. But wait, you don't require to eat, and you're not, did you get sleepy the other night? Um, Malios? Yeah. Um, there you go. Yeah. And she's just gonna kind of look at him for a few minutes, and she's just like, let me just try something before I... Uh, uh, just to ease my nerves, because seriously, are you sure you're not undead? I mean, it is not uncommon. I mean... I mean, I, I, I don't know. Um, can I do divine sense on him? <laughs> so you're trying to divine <laughs> sense what? Cause he's like a dead. <laughs> uh, I mean that is I think in your power. So yeah. I was gonna say, does divine sense look like that? It abs you? I think it absolutely does detect undead in this in a near area around you. Yeah, what I thought you would like need like actual detect undead. Uh, I don't even think they have detects or not. In the, well, it's a class feature, so it like overrides, I believe. There it is, the full thing. Oh, you can detect good and evil. Mm, yep, that's not undead, but it is still. Uh, you can sense anything affected by a hollow spell or know the location of any celestial. Oh yeah, nope, there it is. Or undead. Or undead. So them. actually, yeah, she's right. That is not behind total cover. And she can use this four times per long rest. Holy shit, that's a lot. Well, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, this is the lie. This is happening. And this is the first time I've been using it. Holy crap. So, well, so does anything happen? Well, tell her what she knows, Axel. Hell no. You don't even know what you are. Uh, that's why I said tell her what she knows. Wait, this is being streamed. <laughs> what? What? No, it's not. <laughs> you can't prove that. Oh, bullshit. Crap. Prove it. Post the stream. Do you want me to? I'll be a smart ass and do it. You can. That's just promoting the stream. That's why I say it. It's like, prove it. Smart ass. I can see it. Oh, yeah. By the way, actual, actual Discord says you're streaming Pokemon X. Why does it always say that? Because <laughs> you didn't change it. I did change it. <laughs> Really? Yes. I think I don't like sissies otherwise. <gasps> we are. <laughs> Hello, folks. Hi, everyone. This is actually happening. Wait, did, has he been streaming every time, or is this the first one? The I world will the never time. know. The first time, I think. Cause, the world um, will never I know. Don't. Really, you want me to end your world? Will know. Actually, you know I will check. I don't even think you could. Yes, I Unless can. I keep my streams on video, you wouldn't be able to check. Buddy. Buddy. I, like I said, go. Go ahead and prove me wrong. You can't check my Twitch streams unless I keep the videos. And since we've been doing them since December, they're not even kept that long. So go ahead, prove me wrong. <laughs> By all means. Oh, dang it. Okay, yeah, there's no stream of him, but it does go longer than what you expect. I'm just giving you shit now, you know that, right? Ladies and gents? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's why I find it was like, it goes... 30 streams max. If I remember correctly on the thing, and it's actually probably less than that now. Wait, how often do you stream? I know it's you when you're on, but I guess it's at a time where I'm not on. Uh, probably, yeah. I stream fairly often. Not always in the latest, but probably the last 30 days I've probably done at least 30 streams. 
Uh, well, this past month I haven't been on that much. <laughs> Me, yeah. Uh, I've been on more this last month than I've been on in a long time. Yeah, I think that's probably why, because I'm like, for sure, like, when I was more active on there. And Anywho, on with yeah. the D&D &D adventure. Yes. I'm waiting for Axel to tell me what the heck I'm supposed to be doing behind this show. And I am resting. I'm doing, I guess, a long rest while, because I'm sad. Sad time is sad. Wait, what? I wrote it. You're not paying attention. Wait, no, no, not you, bad. Wait, what? Oh, did she find out? <laughs> uh, I think she found out some stuff. I don't know exactly Maybe. what Axel told her. Who knows? I don't even know what I said. Or stuff. Hashtag stuff! <laughs> Has hashtag cathars. Since she used divine sense on my on herself. Okay, now I'm starting to confuse. <laughs> definitely after that, she is definitely has that look of what the heck. Alright. It's well, all about while you all while you all decide oh, what you're doing, I'm gonna go get some food since supper's done. What? Eat faster. Oh, I'm gonna just gonna grab it and come down and eat. I'm not gonna be gone forever. Just grabbing food. Ten hours later. <laughs> no, I'm not tank. I don't take ten hours. Worse. Careful, careful. <laughs> oh god. So nothing from that. Hmm? My character's sleeping. <laughs> I know. It's just like I'm just very confused. Like why? Okay. I got that start the fire sounds stuck in my head and just won't go away. <laughs> Other than very confused and just very much concerned with what the heck is going wrong here. So did I miss anything stupid or important? Nope, I don't think anybody said anything. Oh, Other than well. Chloe just trying to... It's very confusing, like what? Like the look of like what? You piece of shit. This is why I hate you and Street Labs, and I will murder you in your dreams. <laughs> anyway. Bum, 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 bum. It's somebody's turn to do something. I mean, other than definitely, he's definitely holding a big confused face, and just like. Definitely looking at the uh, barely a look, look of like what? Well, um, I'm gonna be like, it's nice that you're looking at me all confused, like, but I'm gonna cook that meat so it doesn't go bad. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> you, 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 never mind. She's kind of like never mind. It's just a long day. <laughs> And she just like cooks the meat. Just cooks the bloody meat. Oh, goodness. What would that be? I believe that would be a survival roll. Yeah. Tis the year of and rolls for survival. I mean, you cook it, it's a little burnt, but it's cooked. Huh. And she kind of looks at Dahlia and says, how about this? You do it. Because I think I am a good 
I'm mentally taxed enough. Okay, okay. I guess I'll attempt to what's left of me. <laughs> this one is badly burned. Still edible, <laughs> but uh, pretty burned. And she kind of looks over, and she's just like, um, how? How like, what? How that? She kind of points out the bee, bee bird. How? I mean, I'm sure if you take a knife and just carve off the outside, it's still perfectly edible. It's well not. done. <laughs> <laughs> it's edible, but it's not perfectly edible. Okay, let me cook another piece. That, what does that eat? That should be a pretty good piece of cooked wolf meat. Which is good, because you probably only got about six or seven left. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just eat these two, and I think... I can maybe eat that one if you're not gonna eat it. I can try. Because <laughs> I'm actually a little bit hungry after today's um, activity. Well, I, I'm not hungry, so here you go. Hands her the burnt meat. Yeah, and she just looks at it, and she's just like, okay, I'm gonna eat this. It's a long day. I mean, I can't get sick from it. I don't think, I don't think I can get sick, so this, this can't be the worst thing. Don't, don't tempt the dice gods like that. The dice gods could kill you. By disease. Uh, they, uh, they could, but you do have a move that removes diseases, so... <laughs> Not only that, but I'm immune to this shit. <laughs> and you know I'm not being... <laughs> yeah, she's actually right about that one. <laughs> so she just she's not weird. immune to, though, is poison! You will actually do that to the small half like here. Not me. The dice gods. The dice, the dice gods did it. <laughs> I was innocent. I feel like that's so. That's legit. Just like, why God? Fate did it. <laughs> but yeah, she's sincere. She starts with the burnt one because she knows that's gonna be her. It's probably tasty, but it's just that it needs to be done in Opala. Yep. Starts with that one. Alright. Definitely gives them a thumbs up, sort of like, it's not bad. It's crunchy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, besides that, it's fine. Yeah, so she's sitting there just munching on them. Alrighty. She kind of looks at the rest of them and she's just like, we probably should jerk those or at least make them dry so, you know, we can have them for later on and they don't spoil. Do you know how to do that, per se? Then again, since you no longer have to eat and don't remember what previously had, uh, any previous knowledge you have. Just, uh, just an out of character thing. You're asking a person who has no memory. I know no. that that's what she's about to say. Like, yeah, that's gonna be a bad idea. Nope. I cooked that basically on instinct, so I know nothing. Yeah, of course. But I also, I still need to sleep, so, um, this is gonna be a field day, so maybe I can help you? That probably would do me some good help. Helping you out with that. I mean, it's like relearning a lot of material you've read already. Again. Because of just shenanigans. And she says she just munched on <laughs> Just questioning her life a little bit. Like with each bite, she's just like, why am I stuck in this kind of game? Oh, why am I stuck in this dick out of crap situation? I don't know about learning anything, but I kind of like going off instinct. It feels good. That does sound nice every now and then, but probably knowledge is uh -oh, good too. Uh -oh. 
exactly what. Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> so she just in there finishing bubble. She's probably finished. Oh shit, wrong one. Wrong one. You're good. Hit the wrong button. Just trying to hit pins. Why why do I have an incoming call from you, Axel? What did I just say? I don't I don't She finishes her oh, first no. one and probably the, the burnt one, and she probably is eating on the second one, right? Yeah, you know, as the natural progression seems to go. Yeah, she's sitting there just like, yeah. I don't know what's going on anymore. Stop fucking with me. <laughs> yeah, she's just sitting there just like, she's gonna eat the one that she, her first attempt. Before she's the nice, really nice one that she cooked. Um, definitely that. Um, while well, probably having this idle chatter with Baileos and whatnot. Just like, well, I mean, it's probably a good thing to learn something new. I mean, instinct is good. I swear to gosh. I swear to so help me. <laughs> Please tell me no one can hear that stuff in the background. What? Hey, please tell me no one heard that in the background. Am I, uh, let me get ask. Did any of you guys just hear that or just nah? I have no idea what you're talking about. It what am I? Sounded like some. Like some what? Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. So I just heard blunt of it. Yeah, so she's just sitting here having this idle chatter while she probably is, you know, eating this food and she's just like, but I can help you learn how to jerk food if I know how to do the process. Which, what would that be? I'm guessing a history check to see if she knows how to make you do that? Yep. Okay. Why does it not switch it even after the thing? That's always so infuriating. Okay, that's 16. That's pretty good. So, so do I remember the history? Uh, remember how the heck to jerk, uh, you know? Yes. Um, you you remember stuff? how to dry cure meats. Yeah, okay, and I remember how to um, dry cure meats, and I can help you with the process. So we can actually have some, uh, well... You don't have to eat it, which that is still the biggest mystery on top of you not needing to sleep. I, I mean, if you don't mind losing some sleep, I guess. I mean, it probably I might end up sleeping again, because what's the worst thing? I'm not going to tell that. But, you know, this could be worse. I mean, it's not as good. It's, I have the patience for it. She definitely has the patience for that. Um, but she's just like, I don't mind, I don't mind. It's something fun to learn. It's always nice to do the process. <sighs> Yay. Yay. So they're jerking me. Can, can you not say that? That sounds so fucking awful. It's also kind yeah. of inaccurate. Because <laughs> technically the process of jerking is uh, a specifically Jamaican c cooking method. Yeah, I know. I'm well aware. Whereas jerky, which is dried meats, which is how you store meat that you catch in the wild, is dried, dried curd. That's it makes me beg a, a bigger question on the table, but I'm not going to test that. Too nope. many questions. No, no, no. I know the answer to that one person when I realized what I had just said. But also, I'm not going to respond with it. <laughs> All right, anyway, so we're heading down to basically sleep and watch and stuff, I assume, since it is nighttime now. Well, I'm not tired, so I'll take watch. And I'm guessing while this is going on, I'm guessing... 
Sam's taking a full rest. I don't know if that counts as her already being awake or not. Nah, you'll just wake up before she does. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll probably wake up in the middle of the night after my full rest. Oh, fucking Christ. What happened? Nothing. Lies. Alright, so it's one. <sighs> oh. Okay. Okay. I haven't done that in a while. What do you mean you always do that? <laughs> no, 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 not not that one. Wait, what just happened? I don't know. They're scheming behind closed doors. But see, scheming implies consent on both parts. <laughs> yeah, this this isn't under my consent. <laughs> Punishment is the better word probably for this. Yep. Did you do get so much wrath out of the DM? <laughs> oh, I wonder what I did. <laughs> he was an idiot, Stimpy. <laughs> do not be like him. An idiot. Oh, thank you for the host, if you appreciate it. Oh, no problem. I really gotta pay more so. attention to that screen, but there are so many screens to go on for D and D. So uh, I have yeah. like not even Dude. tabs, but like eight different browser windows of tabs. <laughs> so to see if I learn how to dry cure meat, do you want me to make some kind of roll or whatnot? Or is it something that's just gonna be like a crash course? I don't know. Are you trying to like get a good understanding? Are you like in debt? Are you are you invested in the learning? Or are you kind of like yeah? I don't give a shit. Uh, kind of somewhere in between. All right. Well then, I'm probably gonna gonna take a little bit to learn how to fully dry meat. To be fair, she knows about drying meat. That doesn't mean she knows how to dry meat. <laughs> right? That's, that's oh, the other thing. Oh boy, that you asked sounds... how to. Everyone needs to be more specific when they think, do I know how to drive me? Not do I know what jerking is. It's always about oh, yeah. that wording, yo. Please don't use the Remember, word. Remember, uh, alright, and so to help I you know, guys, I maybe know. to help you guys along a little bit with this, so you can compress actions into various things so instead of saying i want to do the wolf okay then i want to do this you say i want to prepare this wolf to be eaten and that covers all of the steps that lead up to that i mean that uh you would use that phrasing for that that's it comes out you mean do you, do you mean how do you mean the very like natural phrasing how how i want to make this edible <laughs> no, no, I want no, to no, eat no no this. no 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 the no, other no, one no, no, is no, specific, no, no, no. but <laughs> any of those three ones still encompass it, as opposed to, can I skin this? Can I do the first thing that comes to mind and blurt it out? Which is literally that. So you I don't want to hear that it's not laughing. natural. You do realize what you just said was hilarious. Like, it's actually not at all that. It's just like, how do I prepare this meat to eat? That's know, what you would you say can... to somebody out anywhere. Oh gosh, that was it's so simple. Thing. So what would it be so to make sure she Some people swap? said that's up to you. You have to think of the right thing to say. How would you phrase this or how would you do it even in real life to get the right answer? Because once again, if you ask someone how do you skin this, they will show you how to skin this and then stop. Because you okay. asked them to skin it. Okay, how the heck, wh where would this proper step, uh, how, what would be the, god damn. <laughs> how do I skin this animal? No, start the pro for the proper. <laughs> Said, how do I skin this animal covers all of it. I 
I know, but then the phone starts ringing. It's, you can hear the phone in the background. I can. <laughs> so this is not helping. And to be cut and or served for food. <laughs> So, okay. I feel like the phrasing stuff is pretty easy. <laughs> it's, it's like it makes just just for just don't blurt out the first thing that comes into your brain like a five year old. Just just for expediture, I'm going to say I get a general understanding of what she's talking about. So you want to learn how to skin. No wait, isn't it the whole point is to learn how to No, she was talking about a drying. Dr drying. Okay, so you want to learn drying, to dry. Drying, jerking. So it, that part, you don't have to learn anything. So you just want to learn how to dry the meat. That will take or, probably like a day. Because it takes about a day to dry cure meat. At, to prepare meat to dry cure, really, it actually takes several weeks to dry cure meat. Yeah. To make it into jerky. Because that's gosh, how you I make jerky, yeah, is by dry yeah, yeah. curing. Yep. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's just that if I say jerk, I can already hear the why. <laughs> Look, just don't say the second word, and you're fine. If other people say it in their head, that's their fault. They're perverts. <laughs> Guilty. We See? know, Michael. <laughs> we know. That's why he's laughing all the time. Like a five. <laughs> That's why I said, if you're not like Michael's character and run up and literally say the first thing that comes to mind and you just think about it, just, you know, like, oh yeah, let's say this to the person. Yeah, so and for I, which, which usually would be bad, but don't forget you're also playing a character, so you need to take time to think about how your character would react anyway. So it's, it's a very good thing to stop and help expedite yourself so you don't end up uh, getting genie in the lamp, basically. Yeah. It's like you said you wanted a thousand kittens. I gave you a thousand kittens in your intestines. Dice gods. Let's not play that. Blow up the Snorlax. We're not blowing up the Snorlax. Blow up the Snorlax. No. But anyway, yeah. so how's it going other than, so what would I have to roll for this whole process? That's a good question. That doesn't mean I have an answer. Um, <laughs> shit. Honestly, probably performance. Teaching is mostly a performance art, and I speak from experience. Okay, this is yeah, Mr. Mr. Teacher. He said it is very much... Oh, shit. I think I know less about what I was supposed um, to do actually, now than I did before. I was gonna say, actually, she gets that <laughs> I know, but it's just too funny to steal those <laughs> abridged lines. Yeah, no. All right, no. so that's an okay teaching, you know, he kind of gets the gist of what you understand about it, which you rolled a good history check, so we'll say that covers the understanding of how meat is actually cured. You doesn't mean you're practiced at it or like a butcher, but with a good, decent roll there, you, you show him, all right, now Michael needs to roll a, probably a perception check. See if he actually was paying attention. Perception, I get a plus zero. This should get good. Oh, hey, look at that. You know what? We'll say that worked. You learned the exact <laughs> level of skill she had with that. <laughs> uh, that's, <laughs> you are 11% of as, as effective. No, sorry. You're, yeah, that's not 11. That's, uh, God, I don't even want to. That's 60%. Yeah. No. 55. No. Fuck it. I don't want to do math. <laughs> Math, you whore. I'm too high for that shit. Aww. I'm actually yeah. not. I'm not high enough to do math. Need more weed. Get so she's just like, yeah, bam, yep. and that's how it's supposed to get done. So you uh, will say that you've explained now how to do that to him, since obviously it would take an actual full day to show him how to do that. And uh, she likes to sleep. She doesn't get the luxury of not sleeping. Yeah. 
So unless you want to stay up all night teaching him how to skin meat off of And when she tried to just slap some on back and said, I'm not gonna try to show you right now. I need sleep. I'm a human being. I'm a small <laughs> I'm a human <laughs> being. I'm a small human being. At least that's what my parents told me when they adopted me. <laughs> Backstory achieved. <laughs> oh god. I'm just that's, kidding. That's good. I'll keep watch. Have uh, a good rest. Okay. Are you sure you don't need sleep? No, no, not tired. It's like, did he need yeah. sleep before? I think he did. I think he did. Uh, I'll think about it in the morning. <laughs> I'll think about it in the morning. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start playing. That's that's gonna be my new role as the DM instead of doing that. I'm gonna be like your conscience. I'm that voice in your head that just tries to like remind you of things. It was like, did you remember to grab your keys? Oh gosh, yeah, this is gonna be great, dude. So, so she does go to get So no no longer will I be the direct DM. Now the voice of God will be silent unless pfft, out of character. <laughs> I you mean, will now be the whisper of your conscience. So good luck. For <laughs> Wait, the case of Chloe, whatever the heck deity that she has for her freaking oath. I mean, is it wrong? Because I never picked one, actually. Oh gosh, darn it. Why? It's such a quiet and peaceful night. Mm -hmm. I have woken up by now. <laughs> I mean, that's entirely up to you. Well, I wanted to get the full night's rest. I mean, you can get the full night's rest, and you can just sleep until the sun comes up. True. Village, uh, Maxwell is not kindly giving us that time right now, because... <laughs> well, he wants to be the obvious. I probably wake up in the middle of the night and um, kind of sleepwalk my way over towards Velios and lays and plops on him for more sleep. A disturbance in the woods seems like a disturbance in the force. <laughs> Oh, dear. It's, uh... As the uh, as the night begins to you know rise and steam, you hear something in the bushes. It is luckily not catching you uh, off guard, which I should have made it do anyway. But you know what? We're not gonna worry about that. Instead, what we're gonna worry about is hitting you with these numbers. Mm -mm. Oh gosh, please tell me I was. How about we eyes. don't hit us any with any numbers? <laughs> I like that. Sorry, it takes remember impromptu D and D. Mm -hmm. And that was that's and on top of that, this is an impromptu encounter because of, <laughs> you know, nightly watch. This one's not a planned encounter. So, yay. <laughs> 
since no one d uh, described their uh, style of where they were sleeping in a formation or anything, I get to randomly place you wherever I want. Well, I did uh, say that I woke up and laid next to Velios. All right. Well, then you can I'm be next to him, but I get to still place either of you wherever I want. Um, didn't you say there was a tree in the camp? There is. Um, I'm not far from that tree. Like, propped up, using that, like, to be propped up. Like, I'll allow it, but I don't remember it. Is everyone's health set on their D&D Beyond page to what it should be? Yeah, they're then, yeah, kind of sleepy right now. So we're just I got a full night's rest, I think. Even I've been resting for them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my my health is where it's supposed to be on D&D Beyond. How much uh, time do you need for a full rest again? Eight hours. Not you, her? She still needs eight? I thought you guys got, like, elf time. No. Mm, Alright, and unfortunately, this is first watch take, so this isn't even four hours. Oh, no, uh, I went to bed before they were even skinny anything. Oh, that's true. Skinny, but uh, I, as soon true. as I finished... Uh, me, I went straight to bed. Alright, you would, uh, have gotten a half rest then. What? Yeah. Hey, yep. You need eight hours, you didn't get even close to eight hours. Damn it. Okay, fine. You got closer to half of eight hours. Like I said, I'm pr being pretty generous with those either. Watches are usually distributed either into one full night watch with a high encounter rating, or into three shift watches. So since there's three of you, it's split into three two-and-a-half-hour pieces or three-and-a-half-hour pieces for a full eight-night rest, or eight-hour rest. And he got caught on the first check, and if you went to bed a little before the first check, you would have maybe got four hours. Mm -hmm. So you should have gotten the effects of a short rest, which is... I think that you are able to roll. How long did it take them to learn the the cured meat thing? Oh, no, did they not end up doing it? They basically did like a shortened, they didn't do like an example, they did like a talk, so maybe take 20, 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, actually, you can do short rest in one hour, so you've gotten more than a short rest, but not enough for a full rest. Uh, so, you can spend one or more hit dice, up to the maximum number of hit dice, which is equal to the character's level. For each hit dice spent in the way the player rolls the die and adds the character's constitution modifier to it, then regains that many hit points. Uh, does not seem to regain any spells, unfortunately, on a short rest. I mean, last I see, I think I was at a 26. On my paper. I could be wrong, but that's what it says. Let's see. Uh, the one um, I got says... Well, you have on your paper. Oh, it says you have full health over here on this page, but I don't know if you've updated D&D Beyond, so... Yeah. I, I went to full because I wasn't... So when was that? When was it that I lowered it the next time? <laughs> I don't think she got hit in the last fight. You might not have. I'm just double checking. Because when I lo when I loaded my page, it was like 10 health, and then when I reloaded, it was full. But either way, if that's fine, we will get on with the thing. You uh, hear something creeping out of the thing. Thing. The trees and bushes from which camp is enclosed, which unfortunately means he's creeping out near Chloe. And uh, everybody but Valios and uh, Samira, so technically just Chloe, are sleeping. Please don't make that to me, Carlos. <laughs> Roll initiative. So everybody but me. Yeah. Unless you want me to roll a perception to see if I actually wake up hearing shady shit. Hearing shady shit. Well, ah. until something happens, your passive perception is 11. Um, actually, it's a little bit higher. I'm sorry, than wrong that. one. 12. Which is pretty decent, just above average. Yeah. Uh, but that also would assume you're awake, by the way. Passive perception doesn't function while you're sleeping. 
What about me? Because I technically got up. Yeah, if you're awake, it's fine, but yeah, passive perception doesn't function while you sleep. Ooh. Pretty much nothing functions while you sleep, which is crazy. Unless you have a sleep move like barbarians do. Fucking barbarians. <laughs> Should have made one just to do it. They said they cannot be surprised even while sleeping. Those bastards. Alertness. Yep. As different classes and different races have different stuff. Like, uh, who is it? One of you had. Well, you had immunity to fire. Or do you? I don't know. Anyway. Let's put that up, and I probably have to reset that again. Nope, it shows up. But can we edit then? Is the real question. Oh, I can't. I just I can't edit. It. I just did. All right, cool. I edited mine. Mine's at a fourteen. Turn orders up. Two. All right. I can move my keys. You. And that's the other thing I'm gonna do is since I'm gonna keep them off the turn order and just kind of interject whenever it's the the person's turn, so you never know when their actual turn is. Mm. Have fun. I mean, you so, will. So. You will once it goes through one round. But so until all I see time. is that. Yep, you're up, Mike. All right. Well, I'm going to move over here. Uh, let's see. That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll move right here. And uh, I'm going to uh, swing at it with both my daggers. All righty. And what's my to hit with my daggers again? I think it's a plus. Yeah, it's a plus six. Oof, duh. Yeah, that, uh, I think you know. But I'll but say it anyway. I'm... You miss. You miss, and you suck, with, and you should feel with bad. With one of the daggers. <laughs> yep. Because I roll for both daggers, yeah? Yeah. Woohoo! Nice. You know what's even nicer about that? Wait a minute, do you have multi-attack? I do have two weapon fighting. Two weapon fighting just gives you uh, a it's second nice. run, and then you have to take a minus on the second attack most of the time still, if I remember correctly. You take a bonus action on each your turn to take the dash to disengage, but here we go. Uh, two when weapon you take, fighting. Yep. When you take the attack action, attack with a light melee weapon. You don't add your ability modifier to the damage of the bonus attack unless that modifier is negative. Okay, so without the modifier, it's 60. Yep, which is, I believe, still a hit, but yeah, like I said, you do take penalties for that. Okay. Oh, wait, no, it says... Oh, that also takes up your bonus action. That's fine. But actually, you do get to use that modifier. You don't get to use the damage modifier. Wait, that doesn't... No, nah, that makes sense. Fuck it. They, they always do stuff like that. That's that's the same way critical hits work, but in reverse. So, okay. you get this hit, and make your dagger roll, sir. Well, due to the fact that I moved before it in combat, I get an automatic critical with it. Because of assassinate. You have advantages on attacker rolls against any creature that hasn't taken the turn in combat yet. And any hit you score against a creature that is surprised is a critical hit. Oh, it's not surprised. That implies surprise. You didn't get a surprise hit. You have... He's not oh. surprised. He's aware of you. Um. That assumes that you're getting a surprise attack. That's supposed to be added on your assassination to make it a critical hit. Uh, on, in addition to your extra dice. So that would give your extra dice an automatic critical hit with assassinate. That's how it's supposed to be used. I believe. I think that's the intended use. But yeah, yeah that, that he is not surprised. <laughs> he saw you. He's 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 looking at you right now. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'll I'll hit him with the 1d6. Yep. Oh, and I get uh, no damage modifier. Wait, is it 1d6? Or 1d4. There we go. 
I was double checking. You might have had a nicer knife than it was showing on here, so uh, you never know. No, they're just regular daggers. So one d four worth of damage. Two damage. Two damage, baby. Now let me double check something. Oh, uh, where is this page? No, nope, not that page. That page. Dun 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 dun. Oh, come on, come on, load up. I know you're mad at me because we're doing a lot of stuff right now. Get used to it! <laughs> Alright, uh, we need... There we go. Shit, okay. <laughs> okay, that well, makes sense. Is he really just a... Wait, do I still get the sneak attack? Because, assassinate, you have advantage on attack rolls against any creature that hasn't taken a turn in combat yet. Oh, I guess that te technically would then. Right, because doesn't your uh, sneak attack, it still doesn't count as being surprised, but it does count once as a sneak per, attack. Yeah, once per turn, you can deal an extra 2d6 damage to one creature you hit with an attack with a finesse or ranged weapon if you had an advantage on the attack roll. So I do have advantage with it, so that procs my sneak attack since I went before yes, he has. so that combat. one does work. Yay! So I'll roll my 2d6. Five damage, so a total of seven damage to it. Alright. Alrighty. Give me a second. I gotta put its stats in and do its thing. Should be from a total of. Actually, I'm gonna do the rolls, even though it's always a terrible idea to do the roll for it. Never ends up in a good place, you know? Why? There it is. Alright, so we need. That's it. Uh, make sure this is right. One second. I need to check and make sure I'm not fucking you guys over on something. Yeah. If it is, then I'm blaming that. <laughs> blaming the dice gods if it is. That actually ended up how I thought it would. Should have been. Yeah. Uh... There we go. Alrighty. We're ready to go on to its turn. Yay, it. <laughs> What is it gonna do? In fact, what is it? <laughs> the world may never know. So, since you are the closest, it's attacking you. It misses with its first attack, where it swings with its claw. Uh, but its second claw attack hits you. Okay. That's five damage for that one. And then it swings at you with the tail, but it misses and swings around. And it is now Samira's turn. Oh, goodness. <laughs> if I remember which ones do what. Hmm. Can 
I do the vicious crossbow in close range, or do I have, like... Uh, well, I mean, close range is considered five feet in this game, so... That's pretty much the only time you take any range disadvantage is at, like, five feet. Um, I might say over here, I think one side to the, to the side, so then I have a clear shot, hopefully. Yep, <laughs> yep good choice. And I'll use my vicious crossbow, which I think it's destroyed on. I don't know if it's, like, a weird, like... Nope, you gotta roll your attack with it. Okay. Right. Yep, d20 plus 6. That was with the plus six. Yep. And I've, and it's meet it, not beat it. So you actually do good. You're good to go. Yay! All right. Numbering myself there, but it doesn't really matter for this guy. If I were to do something like aim and stuff like that, or ready to aim for the next one, would I shoot there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but readying your action is a full action, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind then. Cool. It's not a bonus action. Alright, I guess that ends my turn then. At least I could definitely be wrong. I've been wrong before. <laughs> Where the f did this thing go? Yeah, I, I think prepping and readying a crossbow is uh, considered a full. Usually any kind of readying action is considered a full run as far as I remember. Said once again, been wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Also can't figure out oh, there it is. I was like, where the f did I put this? Uh alrighty, so now you gotta roll your damage, which is one D eight plus three. Is he gonna do it? Can let me eight. Oh Goodbye. nice. There you go. That makes it Chloe's turn, and now there has been some noise, so she can roll some perception to see if she wakes up, since no one woke her up. I figured I'd be nice and let the little paladin sleep. <laughs> nope, you didn't wake up. You're having a great sleep. Yep. <laughs> Your turn, Velios. Yay, my turn. I'm going to strike at it with my daggers again. Actually. Actually. Don't forget your passive stuff. Uh-huh, that's what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> Let me read this really quick. Uh, da -da 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 da If that wasn't apparent from basic leveling stuff. Oh no, that was not. I thought that was okay. Yeah, that first one is was for your base stat level when you had no levels on anything. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, so now your hit die you have chosen now to basically lower. Gotcha. Okay. That doesn't change what I th was thinking about doing anyways. Um... Okay. I'm gonna attempt to grapple it. And if I remember correctly, I do have... I thought I grabbed that. I guess I didn't grab it. Could've swore I grabbed improved grappling, or grapple, 
Grapple Master, whatever the fuck it is. Grappler. Yeah, that feet. I thought I grabbed it, but I guess I didn't. Probably it's not traded it out. For, yeah, you probably traded it out because you have a bunch of other ones that you would have had to get gra grab like expertise is in one. I guess you only have that one, really. Huh. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Yep. I guess I'll attempt to grapple it still. Why not? Alright. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, your grapple store should be on your page here somewhere. Yep. There's no more large than one size. Must be your reach. Oh, at least one free hand. I guess I can't grapple it because I have daggers in both my hands. Ah, rough. Well, looks like I'm swinging at the motherfucker. There's for the first one. Oof. And no pluses, plus six, but that's an eight. Yeah. Well, plus is a little better, but still not a great roll. And then the next weapon. No pluses. Thirteen. Fuck. Oof. Yeah, not quite. Sorry, buddy. You missed both times. One of them kind of like almost hits, but it seems to like clang off. It's just like. Pathetic. Yep. And that ends my turn. Uh, also, did you remember to start this encounter at full health? At full health, I could be. Because <sighs> uh, a certain somebody did something to me. That's true. I forgot about that. <laughs> After I told her not to. <laughs> That's why okay. she's sleeping yeah. in the trees. <laughs> Well, it's looking at you, Michael, and it don't look happy. So it's going to swing, baby, swing. And it's going to hit, baby, hit for the first claw attack. Okay. His left claw does five damage. Okay. It hits for the second claw attack. Okay. That one does eight damage. Just just checking, these are beating my 17 AC, right? Yep, it both rolled natural 17. Oh. And I will give you some hints that it has a, not a great... It, it basically has the same pluses to attack roll that you do. Oh, oh goody. Yep, maybe a little lower, I think. But yeah. And this last attack... This one could be the doozy. This one could finish you, Michael. It might. That would be a real quick end to the rogue. Oh, you lucky bitch! Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. You got real lucky on that one, man. He he did it last time, and I was able to like use his skill to get out, out of it. He can't get out of it, so he swings at you with his tail, and he crit fails again. Piece of <laughs> shit. And he falls down, so he's prone. Hell yeah! Which means I need to change his AC! Wait, do I? That also, that also means I have advantage, so I can sneak attack him. Yes, you can. At least for the turn that he's down. But not right now, because it's Samira's turn! Yay, me. Okay. Uh, hmm. I want to keep as many of my abilities as I can for now, so I'll just use again. Alrighty, take your d20 plus six. Six, yes. Okay. Twenty. Wow, fourteen. Um, no. Apologies, you missed. I'm sorry. Even while it's prone? Oh, right, forgot about that. No, you're good, you hit it. You gotta <laughs> remind me of that sometimes. I did a thing, okay. So, 1d8 plus 3. Plus 3, yeah. 5. Nice. Uh, Alright, 5 damage. Huzzah. Uh, Chloe's still shut. No, she's not sleeping. She gets a chance to wake up. Perception roll. Yep. Unfortunately, nothing very loud has happened, so she doesn't just get startled awake, 
We're using tiny daggers, uh, claws, teeth. Oh, and damn. Yeah, she suddenly is aghast at the random encounters of the wild and awakens, having been, we'll say at this point, guiding a short rest. So she feels the benefits of said rest. Yeah, so in short, she hears it, uh, whatever land on this behind, right? Yeah, sure. He fell down. He heavy. He fat. He's like, wait, what the fuck? Alright. And she kind of looks over where Amelia says, and probably see something on the ground or not. Uh, yeah, uh, using your passive perceptionist, which I assume this you gotta remember, if you're doing something that requires any amount of skill, and I know it doesn't sound like it would require any amount of skill, but how many times have you looked past something you were even looking for? <laughs> and it was right in front of you, let alone not knowing what you were looking for. I have personally looked past a lot of weird shit in my life. Just looked past it, looked away, walked on by. Uh, but I'm guessing definitely. Yeah, you see that. You Like I said, as long as you guys say to use passive and stuff, you'll basically see stuff like that. Because it's within your general perspective stuff and i don't want to like have you guys totally fucked over <laughs> so you are now awake what do you want to do other than probably roll initiative that's probably a good idea yeah said it won't start until this next round but yeah initiative roll is probably good oh hey is that oh yeah that's a good initiative roll look at that She's definitely just like, oh, okay, I'm scrambling to get my stuff together. <laughs> definitely getting my weapon prepped and, you know, sitting up. Right, standing up, whatever. Right, right, right. It's like, yeah, okay, I'm ready, ready, I'm ready. No, I'm awake, I'm awake. And with that, you will go into the next turn's order, which is actually funny because you were at the end of that turn order. So, technically, it starts with your turn. Okay. And she does notice this thing, so, um, you know what, why not do a, um, ray of frost? Okay. Wait a minute, oh, that's, I need to check something, you don't, don't, mm. <laughs> uh, I think that would be in traits, ow, 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 ow. Right? Class features, actually, yeah. Nope, that's an action. That's... That, 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 that. Okay, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, yeah, we're good. Go ahead and uh, let me roll my stuff. Because, yeah, gotta do... Oh, no, that's right, Ray of Faust is a hit effect. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I keep thinking of the one Diffie's always using. No, no. Nope, anyway, nope. go for yeah. your uh, good rolls. Oh, wait, did you roll? Yes. Yes, yeah. you did, and you did not hit. I'm so sorry. Yeah, she's definitely still waking up. That's, yeah, you just gotta, you gotta shake off the rust. And then play yeah. rust. And then no, shake wait, off it, that rust. No, it's like, it's your turn. No, no, I think she's more having to shake off the sleepies. Uh, hey, Michael. What's up? It's your turn. Uh, I'm uh -huh. gonna be a nice DM and whisper in your ear. Hey, remember your passives. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna be a nice DM and whisper in your ear something that no one else can hear. <laughs> I swear that joke is about to oh, God. Why do I feel like I want to say something, but I'm not? Yeah, yeah, I remember that, Axel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just wanted to remind you. I just want to say this statement, and I'm going it's, to. Because that's the thing is, I either make a, a good choice or a bad choice. All right, so uh, I'm striking at it with both my daggers while it's prone, giving me advantage on attacks. And since I have advantage, it also proc sneak attack if they hit. It does. So, so you should be able to roll your base damage and the sneak attack damage. Hey, little mama, right. let me whisper in your ear. So, uh, oh, shit, you 
good. <laughs> here's here's my first attack. And it's a crit. Oh, nice. 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 That should but I, I'll roll I the damage for that. That's one d four plus four. I swear, no. The worst part is that was before me laughing. One d four times two plus four. That should bring up the right multiplier. Wow. I do believe I got a I feeling did. that's not right. I don't think it's yeah, right no. either. Give me a moment. On a different note, can we talk about the fact that she got that nat 20 right after I made jokes? It was funny. A little bit. Alright, so I'll just do it 1d6. 1d4. I thought it would be a 2d4 if it's your daggers. No, I have to do the attack separate. Okay. Just saying. Okay, so here's how it works. You double the original damage. So that is 2d4. I told you. Times oh. 2. Or, yeah. Uh, either, either way, you can do either double or roll the double. I think it's actually supposed to be. Let me double check. Because I'm looking at the crit, the way it affects. I was looking at the way it affects your sneak attack right now, but um. Uh, sneak attack doesn't get multiplied. Yes, it does. Oh, it does. I'm, I'm pretty sure it does. Because it is uh, part of your base damage. It's not part of an ability modifier. That is part of the damage you do, and as doing a critical hit with specialized damage, that's the only way a rogue can ever do that much damage like a barbarian. So why wouldn't it work that way? Otherwise, a rogue would be a useless class for the most part. And, for and I was thinking sure. about it, and yeah, that six is right because I rolled a one. Yeah. So one it, times it, two. Yeah, it might still be all fucked because you rolled super low. That's the whole point of it too. Is like it's really good, but it can also be really shitty for the rogue. So yes, you can hit super high numbers, but you can get that double crit with your assassinate guaranteed and still do three damage. You know what I mean? Not three this time, but you know what I'm saying. Uh. Uh huh. Yep. So I'm rolling for the second attack with my daggers. Oh, alrighty. Oh, and it's oh. and it still should have been. Uh, I believe, like I said, you should have the roll, the crit roll stuff. Because I don't think you even did, did you? Cause yeah, you one d four your... times two plus four. Yeah, but didn't you didn't roll your sneak attack? Oh, I didn't. That's what I was saying. It's like I knew you didn't roll something. Oh. You need to roll your two d six no. times two plus. Okay. Uh, Oh, but no pluses because you already added yeah, your no ability pluses. modifier. So yeah, two d six times two. There you go. That's better. Eighteen damage is more of what I expect from a critical hit from a sass. You know what I mean? And that was that was just my first dagger. Yep. And, and since I have advantage, do I roll that second attack roll twice? Uh, you should because I think you do get advantage on prone targets. One second. Thanks, Corey. Can you roll extra dice for the text? Ah, that's right. Okay, so that's how it's done. Okay, that's right. We'll do that next time. So we did fuck up a little bit on the crit thing, and I thought so because I did it the first time correctly and then said it the second time incorrectly. But yeah, go ahead and roll your second one. You do get advantage. So you have a better chance of getting crit, but you don't get the automatic crit on this one. Well, you didn't get an automatic crit. You rolled a crit. But yeah. Thanks. Jesus! I'm gonna use my inspiration to re-roll that. Okay. Alright, you are now out of inspiration. Because remember, yep. we rem we learned it was one and done. Which is sad. There we go! I might change that, because that seems so shitty that you can't, like, stack up good shit. Like that. Mm -hmm. At the same time, so, then you stack up a good bunch of good shit. And the second die. attack, I rolled an 18. You definitely hit that attack. So go ahead and so roll your... So I get my 1d4 and plus the sneak attack. Yep, you have advantage. You have the floor. Plus 2d6. 11 damage on that one. Nice. So that would be good. And there's that. Sweet. Sweet. Cool. It's his turn now. Unless um, you want to take some bonus actions that you might have. 
well, I don't have any bonus actions, but I can still Hashtag move. whisper, you get a free action for disengage. That's what I was going to do. I was going to disengage. <laughs> yeah, that's away. the one I'm talking about, because without using the action, you can't just walk away. You still have to so use I'm the disengage. Using, I'm using the disengage. Okay, you and get to automatically use it as a rogue. Good job. And... What is everyone's health is currently correct, right? Chloe, did you add your health from your short rest? Uh, because... One second. Sorry, I'm just trying to be that DM in your ear. I'm actually, I want to go back to the one where I'm talking less and typing more, but it's a little rough during fights. I have to come up with a system. <laughs> If I, if I were to do that, I would have to put it under the uh, turn order, so I think I will do that. What the fuck is that roll? That would be for my short rest, arrest, since I'm gonna use it. Oh. Yep, she's using her hit dice, which is uh, not bad. Not bad at all. She should be definitely full health with that. Yep. Because a paladin has a D10. <laughs> it does. Hey, man. Yeah. It's all about how you use those uh, those kinds of things. But yes, so you're back at full health, which is great. It's good for you and the party. Especially because I actually seem to be getting decent rolls today, which never happens. Right? It's like, never fucking happens. Ever. If it did, you'd all be dead, let's be honest. Yeah. With the amount of stupidity oh. Michael gets you in, I mean, how are you not anyway? <laughs> Yes, I'm well aware of that. Uh, anyway, that would make it... Uh, I just wanted to make sure of that before it was the enemy's turn, because now it's the enemy's turn and you're going to fight. Of course. You, because you're closest. Actually... Of course. Never mind. Let me make the roll. Yep. Hey, why are you so close to me? <laughs> hey, go away. He's a, he looks right at you, Diffy. And then, he, and then he smacks Valios, or he tries to. <laughs> Miss. Wait, no. How dare you hurt Master? Damn it, he crit failed again. <laughs> <laughs> My rolls are back to usual. Yes. He got over that rock, and then he fell down again. He's unhappy. I want to use my charisma again to see if I could get into. No, <laughs> no, we don't need another fucking pet. No. I mean, we we're not even using the one we currently have. Because it's a non-combat pet. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's not a it's not a controllable combat pet. That doesn't mean it won't fight. Oh. That just means. Can I use my? Uh, uh, well, I don't know if it's my turn yet, but can I use my? That's it, the... is, it is your turn. You yeah, can I'm call out to your mimic if you would like, yes. Yes, it'd be like, Boo's here! <laughs> that's, that is going to be an action, though. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so go ahead and make a call out. We'll say with a either handle animal or maybe a performance check, I guess. Either one of those, I think, would be fine. Oh, I can't use my charisma still? Uh, I mean, yeah. that's. I think that's pretty much your handle or animal check, isn't it? No, animal handling is weird. Well, I'm not telling it to attack, I'm just there. Is it weird? Like, oh look, the food is there. Huh. Or would you eat it? <laughs> there it goes. That was weird, it wasn't showing it's the whole thing. It's more of a thing. suggestion. Uh, that, you know, man. I mean, you can use your charisma, yeah, sure. Yay. Uh, I will allow that. Because you're charming it. Basically. <laughs> Um, it hears you, and it has become accustomed to the sound of your voice. So it will, uh... It will come over as soon as I can. Find the mother... <laughs> find the mother... Find the mother... I think he's on another page still. Yeah, basically I called out and I pointed at the thing. <laughs> That's coming at me. The hit Bentley. How dare he. And the mimic comes out from this way. It does. It can't move very far. It wasn't very far away, but it comes out. Actually, comes out from this way. It goes over there. 
in the forest doing things. Eating more things. Yeah, pretty much. And now it looks hungry. Which I think it always looks hungry. <laughs> Speaking of, I need to add the mimic to the third order too now. Huzzah. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna try to go quiet DM, DM again, basically. Uh, I'll type in chat. If you have questions, ask. Basically, you know, I'll let you know what it's doing. And I, since I know your stats and stuff, granted, you can always call out and, you know, say, hey, what about this or what about this? And I will try to calculate those or see if I've missed them. But most of the time, I'm, I'm usually pretty decent on the ball for it. Decent, not good. <laughs> so it's prone again? It is prone again. <laughs> uh, that makes it Chloe's turn also. So I keep seeing this just fall on this behind, and she's just like, okay, I'm not even surprised anymore. So that's what the thud was. <laughs> uh, definitely she's going to, um, um, definitely witch bolt it. Screw it, she's gonna witch bolt this thing because it will grow Sounds good. One sorcerer, beam of crackling energy, plus six to hit. Too bad it can't crit. Crit. Ah, uh, Justin. I think that is just on hit. Wouldn't that be two twelves? Spells can't crit. Let's see what the DM says. Mm. I'm checking. Any score, whenever you score a critical hit, you get to roll extra dice for the attack's damage against the target. Roll all of the attack's damage. A spell is technically considered attack as long as it has a roll. Mm. From page 94, if the roll 20 is for a 20, the attack rates regardless. In addition, the attack is a critical explained later. Third level origin would be doubled, resulting in a critical hit. One second, let me get some second opinions on this. I'm just, I would think you would double damage it if nope. you got Make, a double damage. Making an attack, uh, PHB 193, whether you're striking with a melee weapon, firing a weapon at range, or making an attack roll as part of a spell, an attack has a simple structure. So it is considered an attack. No, you learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. I guess, that would have been helpful in other campaigns. Uh, hey man, I don't think I've ever ran with the rule that it didn't specifically crit. I don't think you guys have ever crit on a spell. You guys barely crit as it is. You crit hey. fail more often than you crit, Michael. <laughs> I don't talk about that. Uh, so, she rolled her 2d12, which I believe that is still actually accurate, because... Yeah, yeah because you're a first level sorcerer, right? Yeah. Yep, so yeah, that's accurate damage, and what kind of damage does that do, matter of fact? Lightning. Ooh, hey, that's a switch up for once. Yeah, hey. That was that. actually, this was the spell that I was going to use if someone didn't run out of the building after getting flung through it. I know. Anyway, it's his turn. Uh, wait, oh. wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did, I didn't even get to do my, um... Never mind, nope. Wait, what are you trying to do? Never mind. I think I'm good. So unless you're taking a bonus action to use a spell... Yeah, no, I'm not gonna try that. Well, since it's prone, I'm rolling my 1d20, attacking with both weapons with advantage, which also procs the sneak attack again. First hit. Okay. But, uh, just want to let the DM know one more thing about that spell. 
go ahead. I know you can reactivate it on your next turn, but you have to maintain concentration, can't cast another spell, and you have to reactivate it. So it's essentially the same as casting another spell. Yeah. Just doesn't use a slot. Yeah. So well, since I have advantage, I'm gonna roll again and see if I can get a crit. Nope. Nope. So I'm taking that 15 plus 6 for the first dagger. So that's roll 1d4 plus 2d6. First dagger hits for 8 damage. Oh, nice. nope, that's 12 because I need that plus to the damage. Yep. So that's 12. Second attack. 17, rolling again because advantage. Eh. Either way, I believe both of those hit. Yep. So I'll roll the 1d4. Plus 2d6 plus the 4. Let's not get it this time. 13 damage. So hey, that's. There you go. That's 25 more damage I dealt to it. Alrighty. And then I'm going to disengage again while he's prone. Then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And that ends my turn. Alrighty. That will make it his turn. Don't look this way. One, two, three. He gets a. You get an attack Does of opportunity, but she doesn't only... that take a full action for him to get from prone to standing. Not at all. Uh, even no. if he did, he'd still be able to move over there. Oh, I think it's okay. a. I think it's either a bonus or a secondary action to stand. But let's double check. I thought it was an action. Half your speed from prone to normal. I was almost absolutely sure it wasn't an action. <laughs> they had madly changed prone in this version. Uh, okay. Uh, how much damage can he do, though? I don't think he might be able to make it to you, though. That's what I thought. So then he can go one, two, three. Four. I think that's it. You gotta double check his movement. Yep. So he can go right there. And then he's going to do that. And your what's your AC again? 17? Seventeen. Okay, I thought so. That one missed. Second one did not though. And that's gonna be holy shit! Uh, take twelve damage. Ooh. As he hurls a f f ball of fire at you. What a dick! It also yells something at you, but you can't understand what it's saying. This is a scary fight, Jesus Christ. Yes, for anybody who wants to see that language, you can do a perception check. This has been your DM speaking. I'm going silent. <laughs> the turn order will tell you whose okay. turn it is. Well, um, I'm going to do a perception to see if I know what language that is. No bonus from perception, so let's see. Oh, nope. I'm clueless. Um, I'm guessing. Can I, <laughs> can I do a protection to see what the heck language he just screeched out at? Uh... 
Div, it's the Mimic's turn. What are you going to try to command it to do? I'm not commanding it. I basically called it, uh, the food was there. Um, I guess I could, debating if I should attack, or just act the Mimic again. Hmm. All right, how about, I might move more this way so I don't hit the Mimic, because he hasn't moved. And I'm going to use. Let me see. Can I use Rare Frost? I think I can without mm -hmm. hurting anyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I use Rare Frost on it. Hello? Oh. Oh, questionably. Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't. Oh, uh, oops. Okay, never mind. I'll point at the at the monster and say, uh, and I'll say food. <laughs> and I guess I could try my charisma again. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> Rip. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that was my action. So I can't take another sad action, so I guess I end my turn. <laughs> I should just try to hit it with my rear. <laughs> Next time. Okay. All right, yes, yes, I know it's my turn. I'm definitely going to use um, the action to do the damage to it. Um, no. If it's, it's a concentration. Yeah, you're saying roll damage. I did. That was the D12. Oh. I'll just put that right there. All right, my turn. Can't believe this damn thing is still standing. Yeah, just wanted to put that out there. In which it has a 30 feet range. So that puts me... So I'm at that. Change it here. Oh boy, this is rough. Um, hmm. Uh, 
Out of curiosity, am I able to walk, like, right around here, and then down to there, without hitting the tree? Alright, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Puts me at 25. Okay, so before I do that, I'm going to make a ranged attack at it by throwing a dagger at it. Just a single dagger. So that's 1d20 plus 6. Alright. Roll 1d20 plus 6. Fuck. Well, that's not a hit. So, uh, I'm going to uh, move on down here. Uh, actually, that uses up 25, 30. All right, that ends my turn. Huh. So it ran. 